Hello YouTube, it's Krosama, and here we have today from the Gundam Universe line is the Wing Gundam. So this is a Tamashii Nations product. They basically just running this alongside the robots, uh, you know, Robot Damashi line, which is pretty cool. I don't mind that. Robot Damashi is fairly expensive at times, can go anywhere from like $40 all the way to like $100, just depending on what the actual product is. But this one, it pretty much looks like there's a baseline of $25 with all the kits is going to be released. So for $25, you get a pretty sized kit. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the box. And you can get this figure and many others from the Gundam Universe line over at NewTypeHQ.com and don't forget to use that promo code Krosama for 10% off. On front of the box you're going to have a nice illustration of the Wing Gundam and you're going to have the figure exposed right there with Gundam Universe resting right there at the top. So on the side of the box you are going to have the Wing Gundam looking pretty nice in a very standard pose. On the back side, they give you just a brief description of the Gundam Universe line, as well as some nice little pictures of the figure itself, and some articulation right there. And also available is the RX-78-2 and the Unicorn Gundam. And here is everything out of the box. Overall, it doesn't really look that bad. So we'll take a look at some of the details. You're going to see a lot of panel lines is actually etched in into the armor. So that's pretty neat. If you really want to go ahead and like panel line or do any extra painting, you're going to have the opportunity with this figure. I don't know how many people actually go out of their way to uh, paint up or detail their figures, but it does have the opportunity right here. The waist is also going to have a lot of opportunities for any kind of like detail painting that you really want to do or even just panel lining. Uh, the front skirts are going to be fairly plain, uh, but honestly that's pretty okay. The arms are very stylized, very angular and sharp. Um, don't really know why they chose that kind of route, but you know it doesn't really look too bad aesthetically. And with the legs you're going to have a lot of opportunities for panel lines right inside there. Uh, so I might actually take my own advice and just you know try to do a little panel lining on this figure. And on the wings, you're going to have a nice gold right there, which I don't think looks too bad. Uh, and then more etched in details right inside there. Now, in terms of articulation, it's not really going to be too bad. It's going to be limited in some areas here and there. Uh, namely, I would say in the legs, uh, the feet don't bend whatsoever. So that's kind of a little downfall. Uh, and then the front skirts are very meh. Uh, but I mean, I'm, I'm not really expecting too much out of a $20 figure. Now for accessories, he is going to come with closed fists, one right hand trigger finger, and one left gripping hand. And for his long range weapon, it's going to have the Buster Rifle, which looks pretty good overall. It has a nice gray finish, uh, which I pretty much like. Uh, the gold right there looks really good as well. Lots of good etched in details. Uh, but for the most part, it's really just going to be these two tone colors, and that's going to be about it. And next is going to be the shield, which looks really good. Uh, so you do have a nice little finish on that red. You're going to have some black, some white, some green right inside there, and then some gray right here for these two different parts. Uh, this one being the connecting point for the forms, and then this is something that you can just you know use for the hand to grip on. And basically just going to pull this out right there and just reattach it like so. And here he is with all the accessories attached. So for the positives, definitely looks good. It's a very aesthetically pleasing looking figure. Um, some issues here and there, I would say, uh, some of the angles, like maybe in the forearms, I don't think really work that well. Um, but I do enjoy everything else, the body, the waist, the wings, the head. It looks good to me. Uh, the colors are very vibrant, so I, I do enjoy that. The reds are very red. Uh, the gold's a good throwback to some of the more 90s uh, release kits as well as the figures. And yeah, that's that's pretty much it. For the cons, however, it doesn't come with any beam sabers and the posability is fairly limited, uh, mainly in the legs and somewhat in the arms. Um, you gotta really try and work your way to find a very sweet spot for a good pose, uh, which I will showcase uh, to you guys at the end of this video. But I do wanna go ahead and show you some of uh, comparisons. And here he is next to the robot Damashi Wing Zero. 
and next to my very old Master Grey Wing Gundam. So, as you can see right here, I have the camera fairly flushed. Um, it's definitely going to have a noticeable size difference between the Robot Namashi and the Master Grey. So it's somewhere in that fine middle. Um, you know, if, if the Robot Namashi is just way too small for you, it's usually like, this is about high grade size. Uh, and if it's too, if you don't really care for the Master Grade size, this is just really that fine, fine line in between those two. So I actually really like that. It's a, it's a good size and pretty much has a very solid durability. And if you just really want to play with your figures, hey, this is going to be the one to go to. And lastly, this will come with a Tamashi Stage base adapter. So if you do have one of those bases just lying around, you can easily attach it to this and attach it to the kit. Now, when I went to go and buy this, it did come with a first edition uh, stand. So this is the packaging for it. And inside came with a very nice uh, Wing Gundam illustration with Hero Yui and the Gundam universe right there at the bottom. So really solid blue stand, looks very nice. So for my final, final thoughts, you know what? I don't mind it. I think it's really cool. Um, like I mentioned, the colors and everything is fine. The I think the target demographic is not the collector. I think it's actually just like the kid or the teenager because the price point is very low. They didn't do the transformation and it's, it's pretty sturdy. So if you're wanting a really nice Wing Gundam that is just lacking on the uh, accessories as well as the posability department, then this is going to be a good figure for you. However, I would probably opt out and just go for the Robot Spirits one or Robot Damashi line. Uh, those are generally going to be way better in terms of posability. The accessories are very much abundant. So it's really what you want. If you want to pay a lot more for a smaller scale, but more accessories and sometimes better detail, just better proportions. Yeah, go with Robot Damashi. This is really good if you know, if you just wanted something on your shelf. And if you want, you can go to NewTypeHQ.com and use that promo code Krosama to get 10% off. So it can get a little bit cheaper than the $25 price point because that's how much they're actually selling on NewTypeHQ. And that's pretty much how much I bought it over here. So really good pricing on their part. Really happy to uh, to be partnered up with them. But regardless, uh, definitely, you know, thank you all for watching. And uh, just like always, rate, comment, subscribe. And here I'm going to leave you with a little bit of a pose montage. Enjoy!